Hello students and welcome to Top Scholars. Students, today we'll be talking about another very, very interesting topic that is plasmolysis and deplasmolysis. Students, let us first understand what exactly is plasmolysis. Now students, this is the contraction or the shrinkage of the protoplasm of a cell due to the loss of water. Students, now why exactly is a cell losing water? Let us say the cell is kept in a hypertonic solution, meaning the concentration of the solutes outside the cell is very very high as compared to the concentration of the solutes inside the cell. Due to this, there is going to be shrinkage of the protoplasm because lots and lots of water is going to move out of the cell. This is called as plasmolysis. Moving on students, a completely plasmolyzed cell becomes very very flaccid and therefore it is called as a flaccid cell. Next students, let us see the stages of plasmolysis. Now take a look at this wonderful diagram. The diagram A shows a normal cell. The second diagram shows an incipient plasmolysis, meaning the beginning or just the start of plasmolysis wherein small small amounts of water start to move out of the cell. After which students we have evident plasmolysis. Students, this is the stage where the space between the protoplasm of the cell and the cell wall is filled with hypertonic solution. Now students, as there is hypertonic solution in between the protoplasm and the cell wall, what happens is some amount of water is diffused from the vacuole due to exosmosis. Students, do you remember exosmosis? Yes, it is the movement of water outside the cell due to what? Due to osmosis. Yes. And finally, students, after evident plasmolysis, the cell becomes completely plasmalized. Now students, let us study the exact opposite process. Let us say the cell is kept in a hypotonic solution. Then what we will see is called as deplasmolysis. That means the reverse process of plasmolysis. This will occur, as I said, in a hypotonic solution, wherein the concentration of solutes outside in the solution is low as compared to the concentration of the solutes inside the cell. Due to this and due to osmosis, the water will start entering the cell by endosmosis. Yes, students? Moving on, the protoplasm eventually regains its original form and stretches up right up to the cell wall. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.